Hey, how you doing? Dan here. Hey, you know, today I want to talk about a, a commercial I've just been seeing over and over, and it's really pissing me off because it, I really think it's a public relations thing. It's not, I personally don't believe any of it, um, but it's from a big corporation, so, you know, they have the money to put all this stuff out there. And that commercial is, is SeaWorld. You know, SeaWorld has this big thing now because of the movie Blackfish that came out really, it really cut them down and and showed some, what I think would some just bare truths. And so they're, they're coming back with this public relation thing now to kind of put them in a better light. Fact of the matter is, is now SeaWorld is, is around for, uh, for uh, profit. That's all they are. Now they can say they're for the science and all that stuff too, but if they weren't making millions and millions of dollars, trust me, that wouldn't be there. I've seen all these improvements here at SeaWorld, the rides and everything else. And if it was truly for all the science, then they wouldn't be taking all the profits and giving it to their, their stockholders. What they would do is they would give it to the science. Now, look, I understand that SeaWorld does a lot of good, you know, they have these rescues for injured animals and and they help animals get back to the wild. I understand that and that's great. However, they're a purely per profit, for profit organization. And when they come and say these, these whales, which I've seen in the wild, I mean, these are magnificent creatures and they roam hundreds of miles. They can't come out and say that these whales now have a better life than they do in the wild. Now it's true, they don't have the predators, they don't have, you know, sharks and other whales and things to uh, attack them, and they don't have to worry about, you know, finding food, but they don't have any of the family structure either. When they're, they're locked away, when they're not in that performing tank, which is large, but not nearly as large as an ocean, but when they're in those holding tanks, those are things that are like a walk-in closet. That would be like you being stuck into a walk-in closet and saying, okay, come out to perform or you don't get to eat. I, I think it just really pisses me off on that commercial. Uh, they should just shut up because there is no way you can tell me that those large animals have as good or better of a lifestyle in captivity than they do in the wild. Now, SeaWorld's gonna come back and say, now look, we don't take them from the wild anymore, where they're all bred here in captivity. Well, you know, first of all, that doesn't, that still doesn't make it better that you keep these things in these stupid holding tanks, and basically, if they don't perform, they don't get fed. Now, I'm not saying that they starve their animals, but their, their reward is food after they do a trick. So you get so conditioned to it that, of course, you're going to do the trick. And then they get all upset when these whales slash out at a trainer. You know, these animals have personalities, and they get pissed like, like we would. And some days they just don't have a good day, and you just, but they can't take a day off of work. I mean, they have to perform to get fed. So they take it out on a trainer, and, and it might not even be that they're pissed. It might be that they're just playing, and they don't feel like working that day, and they're playing with the trainer. And here we are, these puny humans against this thing. But again, I've seen these things in the wild, and how they coordinate some of their feeding and, and teaching their young. I mean, it's, it is totally amazing. And just knowing we've been out in these small zodiacs where where we know that the, the whales, and with just a flick of their tail, could just flip us over and, and take us out. But they don't. We're not a threat to them. And they're in their natural environment. They're just out there doing their thing, eating and playing and teaching their young. And I've seen how smart these animals are. So I guess the bottom line is I don't have an answer for the SeaWorld thing other than don't insult my intelligence with this stupid commercial about how these animals live as good of a life in captivity as they do in the wild and just because you don't collect them from the wild anymore makes it okay. That's bull. 
why don't you guys say, okay, we're going to take all the money we make and put it into the science and then the rescue operations and everything else, and we won't take any profit. But if we take a profit, it'll only be like a 1% profit of everything. And, and then that way, at least I wouldn't think you were trying to, to lie to me and spin it with this stupid commercial of yours. I mean, it really does piss me off. Uh, simply because I know, in, from what I see, like I said, I'm not an expert. I'm just a guy that's been out there in the ocean with the scientists that have been studying these things. It just, it appears to be a stupid lie to me. And just a public relations commercial. Try to get more people to get on their side after this Blackfish movie came out. So I don't know. It pisses me off that, about this commercial. I didn't mean to ramble so much, but it, it, it's upsetting to me. And I'd like to know what you guys think. All right, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. You know, if you guys have any questions or comments, just put them down below. Uh, please uh, like and share this video. And if you don't want to miss any videos, go ahead and uh, subscribe. We'll see you later. Thanks a lot.